I'm Lillian Ortiz Self, proudly representing the 21st Legislative District. Join me as I share some of the special places in my district. I'm standing in front of Kamiak High School, home of the Knights. It was built in 1993 to address the issue of overcrowdedness in the Muckatill School District. Unfortunately, that issue still exists. We are at capacity again. I am standing here not just as a legislator, but as a mother whose son graduated in 2012 and whose daughter still attends the school. Education is the number one issue that I continue to hear across the district, everything from early childhood to higher education. This community is invested in making sure that all children are successful. Here I am at Muckatee Lighthouse Park, adjacent to our ferry terminal. Our ferry terminals are very important to us as they connect our communities. We have one in Muckatee and we have one in Edmonds. Our ferries transport not only goods, but many commuters. I was very happy to fight hard for a transportation package that was multimodal, that included sidewalks and bike paths, also included our ferries. That is why I am happy to support not only replacing ferries, but renovating ferries as well. standing in front of Mariner High School, the first high school built for the Muckatill School District in 1970. I am fighting to make sure that we fully fund education, that we give the teachers the support they need to be successful, that we help our children and our families have the resources they need to make sure that all children succeed academically. And in order to do that, we need to make sure that we address multiple issues that affect our families. Issues like homelessness, poverty, changing demographics, different languages in our school system, lack of capacity in our buildings. There are many issues that are affecting our children and families, and I am committed to addressing all of them. I am standing inside the Edmonds Center of the Arts. This building in 1909 was erected as the first high school in Edmonds. It became ECA in 2006. I was very proud to be able to put this as a priority capital request fund in my very first year as a legislator. We were able to obtain $250,000 for renovations of this building. ECA is very well known for bringing a lot of diverse performances into our community. Our communities have changed a lot demographically and making sure that all families have access to a global world is very important. Behind me you'll see a timeline of the work that has taken place in the last 10 years to make this dream a reality. As your representative, I have the honor to put in requests for capital funding that impacts our local communities. This was one of our projects. Another one I had the honor to help support was the Francis Anderson building. Our Parks and Rec building needed a new roof and we were able to get another $250,000 for that project as well. In our transportation package, I fought hard to make sure that we had dollars that will help us continue to address the public safety issue that we have between our railroad crossing in downtown Edmonds and our ferry. These are three examples of how I have fought hard to make sure that we have access to the state's capital funding to make sure we bring some of those dollars down for our local projects. the bottom of your screen you'll see my contact information. I hope that you will join us in staying in touch and letting me know about your concerns as we continue to tackle so many other issues for our children and our families. Thank you so much for joining me.